as something like millions of voters voted illegally in California when you know that that's not true? Well, I don't know if that's not true, John. I mean, uh, you know, I saw the, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal the other day, and it had a certain percentage of, of people that are voting that shouldn't be voting. There are estimates all over the map on that. And here's the problem. No one really knows. I mean, but you, you think don't know millions that that's of people, not true. You think millions of people it's voted possible. illegal? There is no evidence that it happened in millions of votes in California. I guess the question is, when you're president, can you just offer a theory that has no evidence behind it, or does he have to tighten up his standards of proof? I think he's done a great job. I think the president-elect is someone who has pushed the envelope and caused people to think in this country, is not taking conventional thought uh, on every single issue, and has caused people to look at things that maybe they've taken for granted. Um, you look at the flag burning issue last week. I mean, this is an 80% issue. And then you've watched the news media and they say, well, that's, it's constitutional. Well, right, it is constitutional, but it doesn't mean it's not a subject for debate and discussion for the Supreme Court to revisit down the road. So I think he, I think that unconventional thought is something that has caused a revolution in this country, and which is why I think President Trump is going to go down in history as a really great president. In the brief